Ways of Dying, authored by Zakes MDA, immerses readers in a realm of magical realism within an unidentified town, five years after South Africa's inaugural post-apartheid elections. At its core, the narrative unfolds as a poignant love tale, tracing the journey of Taloki, a seasoned mourner, and his newfound romance with Noria, initiated amidst the somber backdrop of her son Butha's funeral. Symbolically, the book delves into the profound anguish and resilience characterizing post-apartheid South Africa. It intricately explores the intricate fabric of life during a tumultuous era, marked by the silence surrounding interblack violence. Born from the dread of reprisals from white authorities keen on reasserting their dominion, Taloki, having weathered the brutalities of apartheid and its aftermath, has harnessed his grief into a livelihood as a professional mourner, eking out a modest existence within the very communities and shanty towns that shaped his upbringing. Traversing the South African countryside, Taloki finds solace in his work, attending countless black funerals. In a twist of fate, Taloki crosses paths with Noria, a childhood acquaintance grappling with the profound loss of her son. Despite their distant past, a blossoming connection ensues, fueled by shared sorrow and the promise of solace. Moved by Noria's plight, Taloki embarks on a mission to rebuild her shattered life, embarking on the arduous task of constructing a new home from the ashes of her burned shack. United in purpose, the community rallies behind Taloki and Noria, offering support in various forms, from physical labor to donations of essential items. Together, they navigate the complexities of grief and renewal, forging a bond that transcends the boundaries of tragedy, infusing Noria's world with newfound hope amidst the ruins. Inspired by the community's collective support, Taloki shares his observations with Noria, who elucidates the village's ethos of mutual aid for survival. Despite the communal spirit prevalent in the village, Noria's home stands out distinctly. Taloki embarks on a creative endeavor, adorning their abode with a vibrant collage of magazine cutouts and vivid paint, transforming it into a whimsical technicolor haven they can call their own. Within the walls of their revamped sanctuary, Taloki discovers an array of images depicting opulent kitchens, lavish bathrooms, and cozy living spaces from homes across America and Europe. With tender care, he embellishes their dwelling with these aspirations. Upon completion, the enamored couple embarks on a surreal journey through their dream home, indulging in fantasies of luxury and comfort. They recline on plush king-sized beds, marvel at their state-of-the-art kitchen, and immerse themselves in American sitcoms within their home theater, an abode befitting royalty. As their narrative unfolds, Noria and Taloki navigate the intricacies of building a life together. Noria grapples with the challenges of motherhood, yearning for her offspring to thrive, a poignant metaphor for the nation's struggle to progress amidst unresolved wounds. Eventually, Taloki confronts the harrowing truth behind Voltha's untimely demise, propelling him and Noria on a journey toward healing from their shared traumas. Embedded within the narrative are poignant reflections on grief, community, love, and hope, alongside explicit political commentary. Taloki muses on the paradox of women leading grassroots movements in South Africa yet lacking representation in positions of power in the capital, a sobering critique of systemic inequities. Ultimately, the story emanates a spirit of optimism, celebrating the resilience of the human spirit and the transformative power of community in overcoming adversity. Zakes MDA, a renowned South African playwright and novelist, infuses his work with a rich tapestry of social commentary and emotional depth. Born in Cape Town in 1948, MDA's literary prowess has garnered acclaim, with titles such as When People Play People and Little Sons. His magnum opus, Ways of Dying, published in 1995, clinched the prestigious Mnet Book Prize, cementing his legacy as a literary luminary. I hope you enjoyed this video, leave a like if you did, and be sure to subscribe thank you.